Hey, Wichita, Robert, your roving real estate reporter. I'm here today with the one and only Kate Corby, and we're going to be talking about an important topic, um, and that is very simply, how do you keep a personal touch in a society and even in an industry that is increasingly saturated by technology? So, Kit, what would you like to tell us about this? Well, for me, it's been easy because technology is not my favorite thing to do. Um, I've always believed and tried to treat my business um, as a personal ongoing relationship with my clients. And so I like to stay in touch with my clients after the closing. In other okay. words, I continue building on the relationship that I have with them. So, okay. um, Can you give me an example of what you do to stay in touch uh, aside from uh, you know, uh, email drip campaign? Mm -hmm. Um, email is probably one of the last things that I do. My clients most typically will, my A plus clients, the ones that I've done business with, they know me, they like me, they send their referrals to me. Those are the people, they're going to hear from me every month in the form of a phone call, a personal handwritten note. They're going to receive things of values, coupons, things like that, that add a little bit of fun and value to their life. Fantastic. Okay, so um, we uh, actually just discussed a statistic a few few uh, minutes ago that 83% of people that have used a realtor would reuse said realtor if they could only remember their name. So, well, for me personally, um, my business is 85% referral. Okay. And repeat. Okay. Um, because. Um, like cold calling mm -hmm. is not necessarily it's not comfortable for okay. me um, so I've tried to build a business that doesn't require that I'm constantly out there seeking just new business sure, sure. Um, I can count on a good a good amount of business every year coming from the people I've already done business with the people that uh, they repeat mm -hmm. they they've sold and they're buying again or uh, they have family that's now ready to buy or to sell. Mm -hmm. And that makes it real comfortable for me because um, family and friends of people that are already your friends, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that's just kind of an extension. Sure. Well, so there, there you have it, guys. Very simply put, having that personal touch is what sets you apart from a lot of the other agents and it's what can really take your business to the next level by keeping that personal touch and I would go so far as to say that the personal touch in some cases is really what the industry misses sometimes um, so make sure that you've got that so once again Kit it was great to see you thank, thank you. you so much for your input guys you go out and sell something let's get moving Bye.